Hey friends, Low Carb Keith here, back in my kitchen, and today I'm going to try something new, something I've not made before. Uh, I saw a recipe this week that I thought I'd give a try. Today I'm going to make keto pigs in a blanket. That's right, keto pigs in a blanket. I know I love pigs in a blanket made with crescent rolls, and they're so sweet, and, but we can't have those. They're full of carbs. So I found a recipe, so we're going to follow this fairly closely. I've got, first of all, I've got four hot dogs that I've cut in half. So uh, that's what we're going to use. These are Oscar Mayer. They have one carb per a hot dog in them. Uh, so that would have a half of a carb for each one. So the, uh, I've got some, uh, some eggs, some mozzarella cheese, some almond flour, some baking powder, uh, and some cream cheese. So that's what we're going to use we're to make the blanket for the pigs. And so uh, the first thing it says, mix uh, together the almond flour, which is I've got a half a cup of almond flour that we're going to mix in. Okay. And let's see, the baking powder, which would be a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. There we go. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. And, let's see, uh, and one egg. So we're going to mix in one egg into this. All right. Let me uh, get something to mix it up with. So we're going to mix that. Mix that all together. I hope you're having a good, good day. It's Saturday, and uh, I thought I'd just give these a try. I hadn't. I eat hot dogs occasionally on my low carb diet. These hot dogs, actually, uh, like I said, these here, these are made by Oscar Mayer. They they have no nitrates in it, no filler, uh, and they're just one net carb. So. So that's good. All right, so I'm gonna take another bowl and I'm going to combine the shredded cheese, which is I've got right here, okay? Get all of that in there. And I'm going to add um, one, let's see, one tablespoon of cream cheese, which I've got right here set this out of the way because basically what we're doing is we're making a fat head dough and I don't know if you've made that before but that's a uh, dough that's made with with uh, cream cheese and all right let's go ahead and put that in there just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to microwave this for 60 seconds, 90 seconds until it melts. All right. Put it in there for 60. All right. Good deal. And while that is melting, you know, I got to thinking, I got to looking at the calendar the other day, and tomorrow, Tomorrow is my seven-year anniversary from when I started eating low-carb. Uh, seven years ago on March the 5th, 2016, I decided to change my life. I decided that I was going to lose weight because I weighed in at 292 pounds, almost 300 pounds. And uh, I said, I'm not going to live long if I keep this up. So I did my research and discovered that, you know, probably a low carb diet would be the best option for me. So I did, and it took me a couple of years. My goal was to lose 120 pounds. All right, let's mix that up. Just to lose, was to lose 120 pounds. Oh yeah, that's good and melted. And I lost over 120 pounds. I lost, 130 pounds in about two years. All right. 
And for the most part, I've been able to keep it off for, what, seven years now. So uh, before this gets cool, uh, let's, uh, let's put it in with the flour mixture. Okay. We're going to mix it in with the flour mixture. Okay. Okay. Get all of that in there. And then what we're going to do is try to get it all mixed up together really, really good. As a matter of fact, probably the best way to do this is to take it out and put it, put it on some parchment paper right here. Get that out there. And let's see. Make sure we've got it all. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just mix it with our hands. Can you see that? Is there anything in the way? Okay. So we're just going to, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do to make it a little easier is I'm going to hit it with a little bit of spray and a little bit on my hands. Make it a little easier. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to knead it together, get it good and mixed up as much as possible. It's really sticky, but that's the cheese. And, uh, all right, there we go. There we go. All right, very good. Now, let me move some of this out of the way and clean my hands off. And now what we're going to do is we are going to get this out of the way. Is we're going to kind of roll it out. And how we want to do that is we're going to take another piece of parchment paper. I'm going to spray it with a little Pam. All right, we're going to put this on top of it, and then we're going to press it out. Okay? And I'm going to take my rolling pin and kind of roll it out. You want to get it to where it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Good. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this into, let's see, we've got eight, so I'll need one, two, yeah, I'll need eight, eight of these. Hopefully it'll stay together. Now what you could do is you could is you could put this in the refrigerator and let it firm up just a little bit if you needed to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now let's see if we can do this. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. Okay, and we are going to wrap it, wrap it around. Whoops, it fell apart. That's okay. Wrap it around the hot dog. 
and just kind of form form it just like that okay there we go now I'm going to put this in my dish I've got back here there we go now this may not be as smooth or as plain as I would like but that's okay Actually, that one is, yeah, there we go, there we go, put that one in there just like that, and that was enough for about seven, okay, so there we go, let me wash my hands and then we're going to put these in the oven, all right. Like I said, I've never made these before. I didn't, <laughs> you know, you live and learn, <laughs> don't you? All right, so I'll save that last uh, half of that hot dog, put it back in the refrigerator. Um, all right, let's see what we put it in the oven as. We put it in the oven for, it is uh, 375 degrees, and we're going to bake it for about 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. All right. But this is what they look like. Some of them are prettier than others. But we're going to put them in there and see how they turn out. So 375 for 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll check on them. Okay, friends. My uh, keto pigs in the blanket have been in the oven for... I checked on them at 15 minutes and they were still not very brown. So I left them in for a couple more minutes. So let's take them out and let's take a look. Uh, I don't know what to expect. We'll see. All right. So here they are. All right. Let me, well, to be quite honest, they're not very pretty. Uh, some of them look better than the others. That one looks good. Can you see it? It's nice and toasty. All right. That one. Whoops. It's falling apart. That one's a disaster. But that's okay. As long as they taste good, that's all that matters. Okay. So I got some mustard, and we're going to put just a little bit of mustard on my plate, and uh, I'm going to dip it in there, and we're going to have a bite, see how it turned out. Just a little bit, not much. All right, this one's pretty solid, pretty solid. All right, let's take a... Take a dip. Hope the hot dog's not too hot. Mmm. You know, That is not half bad. You know, the the breading is really not sticking to the hot dog very well, but that's okay. You know, and, and I made I made this bread this breading uh, without any really any seasonings in it at all. You could add onion powder, you could add garlic powder, you could you know you could. Uh, sprinkle sesame seeds on the outside, you know, to make it a little more pigs in the blanket like. Let's take another bite. Mmm. But it's bread. It's 
It's on a hot dog. And I used, what, three and a half hot dogs. I cut them in half, so we ended up with seven. Each of these, uh, each of these halves is about two net carbs. So not a lot of net carbs in it. And it's a great snack. I mean, it really is. Uh, I think you just have to kind of practice getting the dough wrapped around it a little smoother and a little easier. But this works. It's a good good snack on a on a Saturday afternoon. All right, folks. I appreciate you being with me on the ones that work out really well and the ones that don't work out so well. But this one's sort of kind of in the middle. All right. Uh, be sure and follow me on my social media, uh, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Low Carb Keith. I appreciate it. And uh, you have a great weekend.